Hello. Hello. Great. This morning we're going to do lily pads with a koi fish swimming underneath. I'll end up paint, um, coloring this all blue. So let's count how many shapes we actually have. So we have the three lily pads. We have the sort of sweet potato looking like koi underneath and the flower. So one, two, three, four, five shapes. Okay, we ready to make the five shapes? Yes, we are. Okay, so I started with the lily pad shapes first. So get yourself a green. Um, and lily pads are rounded and gentle. See how rounded and gentle they are? Okay. So, um, and mine went off the page. So I'll just do a, a light line here. Yeah. And then I could put another lily pad down here. And some of them have like just a little space in between. I didn't put that space so much in this one, but they do have a little space for their stem to go down. Um, and then let's put another one up here. Like so. And then we'll put the flower in the middle. So for the flower, all I did was I drew the center first. So the center was just fuzzy yellow, dark the yellow. Of the, lily pad. the center of the flower for the lotus flower. You can choose whichever one you want to. I do all do. three. Nope, I only did one flower, but you could do three. And then I did a lighter yellow on the outside of the center of the flower. And then for the petals, I just made pink triangles. Pink triangles, pink triangles, all the way around. And I put some behind. Okay. And then for the koi fish, the koi fish, and I made him have a little bit of character by having one eye a little bigger than the other and there's little whiskers. So for the koi fish, it's gonna be swimming underneath the lotus pad. So, I mean the lily pad, the lotus flower. So I'm just gonna draw his head. So I'm just gonna come out like a U and then I'm gonna draw his body sort of swimming up this way and he's gonna be swimming off the page. And then for his fins, they have these floaty little pretty feathery type of fins. I'm, I don't even have enough room to fit the other one on. Let's draw his eyes now. And you could put like a little bit of scaling in there. And then for the flower, just to give it a little depth, I put some magenta -y type pink in the middle. You could do any color you want. And it's gonna make you feel so peaceful. The lily pads are very peaceful. Okay, I think I'm gonna finish this one and come back and show you. Oh, I forgot to put his whiskers. Let's put some whiskers. Whiskers. He's having fun swimming in the lily pads. Okay, great, we'll come back. Okay, so we are back and it's only taken me a long time because I'm trying to fill in the water. And you could do it quicker than I did. But this is my, you can hold it either direction. This is my fishy swimming through the lily pad. This is lovely Charles's. And then this one is my first one, which I can make blue. Now, what I did to make it blue, I just go around with a blue around all the shapes and then fill it in. And I've added a little detail of lighter greens. I put some red for his 
fins. And yeah. So we wanted to tell you what we thought when we were thinking about this. We were thinking of it as like a Japanese koi pond, right? Yeah. And we figured we'd say goodbye to you in Japanese. So Charlie, how do we say goodbye in Japanese? Shalom. No, shalom is not Japanese. I don't know. Sayonara. There. Sayonara. Let's say it together. Lugi, can you say sayonara? Sayonara. Sayonara, friends!